this cannot be done this is impossible actually we don't need this change I can't change because my manager will not accept it uh, I'm surrounded in this environment which is so bureaucratic that what can I do you know Vineet your ideas are very good I love them but I can't make it happen because I'm not very sure I need to do it excuses more excuses and some more excuses I've heard all of them and I call them yes buts yes it makes sense you read a book uh, you read uh, an article you read this blog you hear somebody speak passionately about it you say yes and then after 15 minutes or 15 days you say but that yes but is very dangerous let's see what is it that we need to do to remove the yes but again as I said I don't have all the answers but I have some possible explanation so here is where here is how possibly you could think about because this is the way I think about life I think there are three kinds of people in any organization and you have to choose what kind you are the first kind are what I call transformers transformers these transformers are in the business of bringing about radical change they are searching for new ideas they suck positive energy out of them in, in the in the marketplace they give positive energy in their environment and they are always busy doing something and they are the catalyst for change that's the first set of people the second set of people are what I call lost souls <clears throat> they've given them in life everything is bad every action is bad every decision is bad and there is something behind everybody and they are the people who draw negative energy from the environment and suck that in but those two are not the people I was worried about I think I'm worried about the rest of the people which is the majority which I call the fence sitters these are the yes but managers they can neither make up their mind to be transformers neither make up their mind to be lost souls and therefore neither contribute positive energy neither contribute negative energy and the reason I'm talking about the fence sitters is because they have the appetite and the ability to be transformers and that they are the people I want to talk to you today how do you become a transformer and how do you think about yes buts and take that positive leap forward of moving towards being a transformer and I think my simple answer to that is take charge of your life and taking charge of your life you have to first understand that the only currency or the most important currency you have is your time once you understand that your time is in your control you will start understanding that every time you spend it sending a report to your boss or asking for a report from your subordinate or doing something which is not creating value for you or the organization is time badly spent once you understand that your time is your currency and every time you spend that the need for change will start coming in so two actions will result from that hopefully either you will change the environment you are in which is what I hope you would do or you will step out of that environment and go create some other environment but I hope that you do the former because I think every environment can be changed if there are enough transformers they'll create the tipping point for for the for the for the change to automatically happen so take charge of your of your life the second is I think the question you need to ask as I said before if you are in the business of winning if you are in the business of succeeding God has given you an intellect and you have developed it through education and experience now that's it that's a package right you can use it but that's that's about it you can use it better than others but there is limited comparative differentiation in that think about it if you change the way you run your teams if you galvanize their intellect their energy you enthuse them you encourage them and make that team deliver far more than a more intelligent more capable team leader who cannot enthuse his team through the how you run your team you can create a comparative differentiation so I believe that wake up that transformer in you and don't be the fence sitter because you could actually change the way you run your life you run your team you run your organization by taking charge of your time taking charge of your life and bringing about your the transformation by saying I can do it by changing how I run my leadership style how I run my teams and I can tell you given the experience which I had with 57,000 employees at HCL once you step into the transformation zone, transformer zone life is beautiful very very beautiful